Hello, my name's Mark, and today I want to talk to you about tripods. I'm a YouTuber, so I'm very used to using these, and I just want to point out some of the features you might want to look out for when buying a tripod. This particular one I'm showing you now is very cheap, and it's not very sturdy for DSLRs. You'll find all tripods tend to collapse down for easy transportation, and this low-cost tripod is no different. Where you will find a difference is in the build quality and the material. This feels too lightweight it doesn't feel very supportive however a very low cost tripod like this might be suitable if you've just got a small little gopro or you're just filming using a mobile it keeps your costs down but it offers limited options for the tripod head and overall these aren't a brilliant tripod what you want is something that's made from a very sturdy material and you'll feel the difference straight away in your hands nicer weight much solider feeling next thing to note is that tripods have different release systems so typically you'll get one that is a clip system as you've just seen but you can also get one that is a twist and grip system the difference being you just have to twist around on the legs and that allows the feet to drop feet themselves can be replaced sometimes most of the time they are fixed in position they're just plastic but you may want one that has spikes on it you can also find differences in the style, so some have a middle section, others are free. They come with pros and cons, middle sections like that allow you to very quickly flip the tripod up and down, whereas a central section that is free allows the tripod to be placed in a wider stance, which may be more suitable for different terrain. The tripod head is very important, you really want something that will attach to your camera via a quick release system, so this is the very cheap tripod head, all you can do there is screw something directly in. Here's an example of a quick release system, you can take this plate and attach it to the bottom of your camera and that allows you to take it off the tripod very quickly and easily, screws into the bottom and just clips straight onto the tripod. Others rather than a clip system will have a screw system and that holds the camera in place. This tends to be higher end tripods have this and it allows for weightier cameras to be used. You can also get different features. This is more of a photography type head. This allows you to twist the camera in all sorts of different directions, bubble level on to get it nice and even and you can even take a shot straight down rather than straight up. It's very difficult though to use this with a video recorder because you can't really control the camera as well. If you're going to be doing videoing, I recommend a tripod with a control stick on. That allows you to move the camera around left, right, up and down. And quite often you'll have controls to allow resistance to be adjusted. This particular tripod you can see here is a fluid head tripod and that allows you to get a much smoother panning shot. So here's an example of a fluid head versus non-fluid head system and you can see horizontally maybe it's not too different but when we swap to a vertical shot you'll see that it's a lot jerkier with the standard head than it is with the fluid head. Fluid heads can be expensive, but if you are doing this kind of shot a lot, it may be worth considering investing in one to make sure you get a nice silky smooth bit of footage. You might also want to consider some mini tripods. These are quite often very portable and still allow you to use them with a DSLR. And of course you can get various attachments for your tripod head that allow you to do things like time lapses. For me a tripod is an essential part of my camera equipment and if you don't already have one, I definitely recommend getting one. I hope you found this short video useful, if you have please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.